We're asked to graph the set on a number line, and we're going to write the set using interval notation. So when we look at this, let's first graph it. We see that we have this negative 7 right here, and it has to be less than or equal to our x. So that means x is going to be above and include negative 7, and then it has to be less than or equal to 0, meaning that it has to be less than and include 0. So since these are both less than or greater than equal to, we're going to use this filled in circle right here for both of them when we plot it. X has to be between both of them. So that's where this line in the middle comes from. Now let's look at the interval notation. So looking at the interval notation to the right, we have the following. We know that since we are using less than or greater than or equal to, we've gone over this in a previous video, we're going to use two brackets like this. So that's where the brackets come from. We know we go from smallest to largest, left to right. So our smallest thing here is this negative seven, and our largest is zero. And that's how we would write using the interval notation as well as the graph to the left.